All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, I am Dr. Fatbody. I speedrun video God. games and play Marvel 2. Uh, today, we are here to show you how to properly install uh, the FGC Arcadia No DC uh, online build thanks to uh, Sonic Step. Okay, guys, and so the first thing we're going to do if you go into the info section, you'll see uh, our first link here for the Google document. You're just going to go ahead and click that. Once we get on this page, the first thing we're going to do is we see DirectX, the visual redistributable, and the .NET framework. If you don't already have these things installed on your Windows device, we're going to go ahead and grab those now. All right, guys, and once you've grabbed those, you're actually going to do a little bit of scrolling down until you see Setup Tutorial. And and we're going to be clicking on this second link. You're going to right click and hit open link. Once we've done that, it'll take us to this page. Uh, you'll see the download is roughly 1.4 gigabytes. So it's going to take you a little bit to install, but go ahead and get that downloaded. Also, after downloading, you're going to want to make sure that you extract to desktop. Um, that's how we found the least amount of setup errors. One person in particular, Silent Scope, had an issue with the way he extracted and we had to go back through and reset them up. And all right, once we have that done, what you should be seeing is this. This is our main folder the FGA null DC our step one is gonna be a pretty easy one we're gonna go here to null DC launcher underscore MBC 2 I'm gonna double click then it'll bring up this window here the uh, FPS limiter GUI launcher so we have FPS limit you're gonna want to set that to 60 under the select process exe we're going to hit browse and we're going to scroll until we see Null DC Win32 Release No Trace. You're going to click that and hit open. And now this, just a little, you know, uh, convenience for the future. You can actually hit up here on Load and Save. You can type something like Marvel 2, you know, MVC2, whatever you want, and hit Save Settings. And then every time we boot into this uh, FPS launcher, just go to Save Selection, Marvel 2, Load Selection. Bam, we're in there. And that, you know, that's going to be the same for any game you're playing on this, be it CVS2 or anything else. All right, our next step is going to be hit Run With Settings. You'll see we boot here into the game. Next, we're going to hit File and Normal Boot. And your first time doing this, this isn't going to launch immediately into your ROMs folder. You'll probably be on your PC or, you know, wherever. And so we're going to want to navigate uh, to wherever you have extracted that. And again, hopefully it's on your desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop. We're going to find this. I'm going to navigate to ROMs. I'm going to go to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, this will also be the same for CVS 2. And the, the convenient thing is it's not like Fightcade. Once your buttons are set up, they're set for everything. Um, the only thing we found issues so far is um, the layout for Guild gear you'd actually need to adjust okay and so we're gonna double click this or you know click it hit open and our game should boot now all right guys when you get to the title screen of whatever game you've booted you're gonna want to try to hit the start Hi. button if you're actually able to boot in you may be in luck if you can move around and your sticks fully set up you're through 90 percent of this video you can actually jump to the section that says a uh, net play which is also going to be in the information section However, if your stick was not able to move, you're not able to do anything, buttons aren't working, what you're gonna do now is we're gonna simply Alt F4, we're gonna close the program. Whenever you're like trying to play somebody, if you get disconnected while playing online, any of those kind of things happen, you're going to wanna make sure to fully close the game and reopen before reconnecting. Otherwise, you will have an error happen where the credits are off on both machines, and so the game will boot for both people, but you guys will be fully DC. It'll be a mess. So, okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hit this QKO Jamma folder. Double click that, and then you'll see a list here. You've got like null, controller, gamepad, keyboard, main flash, all that jazz. You're going to look for whatever your arcade stick is. So, right here, I see Real Arcade Pro V3. That is my arcade stick. I'm going to right click. You're going to go to open with, and you're going to select notepad. Any notepad program should work. Now, once we have that open, we'll see this. Now, this is going to be a little bit different from what you're going to see. What you are going to currently be seeing is we'll see all this stuff here on the right, like the start, test, up, down, but everything on the left is going to say none. That's because our stick isn't actually configured yet. So what you're going to do from here is in the bottom left corner, you're going to go to your search. You're going to type USB. You can see we get the option to set up USB game controllers. You're going to click that. This uh, little pop-up will come up where it says game controllers. You're going to select whichever stick you have plugged in. You're going to go to properties. And then we will be brought to this. All right, now once this little pop-up is up, this is where we start setting up. So you'll see I currently have my stick set to left stick. You'll see it moves around in the axis box. If I press buttons on my arcade stick, I hit jab, button one. Strong, button four. Uh, fierce. 
button six, and same with short forward roundhouse. We've got highlights for all those, right? You know, start button, all that good stuff. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is plugging in the data from this controller properties into our notepad. It seems kind of overwhelming at first, but honestly, it's pretty easy. So the button one through six, the easiest way to think of it is jab, strong, fierce, short, forward, round pass. You know, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick, however you were taught the notation. And so here, when I go to my real arcade properties and I hit jab, I have button one. So you'll see that I have button underscore one equals button one. This means when I hit jab, I'm going to get jab in the corresponding document. When I come back over here, I hit my second button, my strong button, which is button four. Button underscore four equals button underscore two. There has been one slight error that I've been seeing people get, and if a ton of people get it, I guess I'll make a follow-up video to this. But sometimes when pressing the roundhouse button, this uh, Z-axis up here will actually be the one that's going on. To circumvent that, people have been using Joy to Key. You can also go through into the wiring of your stick and actually rewire it so that it's one of these actual buttons and not an axis itself. That's up to you. But it's been pretty far and few between on people having the issue, thankfully. So hopefully moving forward, there's not too much of that. And another thing worth noting with the buttons, you're going to want to make sure you have a start button and a coin button. Additionally, you'll see the option, the second one down in the notepad test. You're gonna wanna set that to a different button, preferably one that's not actually on your arcade stick. That's just, if you're playing King of Fighters games and you try to hit start, it'll just keep re-adding coins if you don't have a test button set for whatever reason. Now that we have all of our buttons set, we're going to worry about our arcade stick. There's two ways of going about this. Uh, I will share whichever notation that you need in the information section. Um, my stick I currently having running on left stick, right? You see, we're moving around the axis box here. If you're moving around the point of view hat box, these, these four things right here, the up, down, left, right, are going to be different for you. So if you're moving around in this box, you'll see the axis Z negative is up, axis Z positive is down, axis W negative is left, axis W positive is right. Right? That's how you're going to set it up if you're using like left stick or right stick. Uh, like I had mentioned before, if you are point of view hat, we are going to have a different configuration. For the up, down, left, right, you'll set it to hat underscore zero underscore up down, left, right, respectively, okay? Once you're done editing everything, you have your stick fully set up how you need it to, you're gonna simply hit the X, you'll hit save. We are then going to navigate back to the launcher and same thing, you know, go to save selection, load your selection, run with settings, file, normal boot, you'll see we're already in the ROMs folder and we'll boot our game. You'll see we hit our buttons, we hit start and we're in there. We can pick our characters, do cool combos, play through arcade mode. Now you're probably sitting there going, okay, okay, cool, but how do I play online? I got you. You're going to all F4 again. The next step is going to be in this main uh, FGA null DC folder. We're going to go to uh, Radmin. You see Radmin VPN application. You're going to double click that. You're going to install and create a profile. That's going to be for ease of access to uh, find out other people's IPs without having to give up your actual IP address. Uh, it'll create like a, a digital or an electronic one for you and I don't really know how that part of it works once you see Radmin open you'll be able to join an existing network or create your own I've done both and you'll see here I'm in a couple different people such as like my buddy pops and uh, La magic dude another amazing youtuber slash streamer for Marvel 2 and now there's gonna be two ways of going about playing online it depends on if you're hosting or if you are connecting to somebody else I'm going to go through both and show you those real quick all right, y'all, so the next step for online play is in our main null DC folder. We're going to navigate to uh, this file. It's a CFG file that says null DC. Again, you'll right click on it, and then you're gonna hit open with, and you're gonna select notepad. I just like to scroll to the bottom uh, until we see net play. And so this is gonna go two different ways. I'll put both configurations into the info section so you understand it. Basically, you'll see the net play section. You'll see enabled equals zero. You're gonna to wanna to delete that zero and switch that to one. We're gonna go over hosting first. So you're gonna have hosting equals one. I believe by default, it's on zero. Under host, you'll have your IP and you'll see I have my Radmin IP in there, port it in. You're gonna have port 27886 on there. Uh, that's what it comes as default. Uh, additionally, 7500 will work for some people if you're having trouble connecting. But if you're 
you're having trouble with it, generally that's more of a firewall issue. So you wanna make sure to go into your router and your firewall and you know enable those ports. And then here we'll have the delay. Delay is gonna be entirely based on where you're playing your opponent. And so the buddy that I'm testing this out with real quick to show you guys is in California while I'm in Colorado. So I'm gonna hit two. And you'll hit X and you'll save the document. And now the next step will be connecting, having the person either connect to you or you connecting to their network via Radmin. You'll see that I already have Chun here in my network. And so Chun will then be able to go to my name and put the exact same information. You have to make sure that the information uh, syncs up. Otherwise you guys are gonna have a bad time. And now you'll see, so what I'm gonna wanna do is the same, you're gonna launch the game the same way that we would if we were playing offline. I'm gonna hit run with settings, file, normal boot, boot your ROM. And then you wanna make sure if you're hosting that you have the game fully launched and booted before you have the other person go ahead and connect. And so, okay, Chun, go ahead and uh, try to connect to me. You'll see just like that, bada boom, bada bing, the game is loading. You'll see we hit our buttons, you're just gonna press start. I was able to press start, my opponent should be able to press start, and we are in there. Guys, as you can see, we've selected our characters. We're getting into the match. As you guys saw, we were able to connect. The match is over. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that will be if he's hosting. And so essentially, it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to need to flip around a couple of settings in our CFG file. So go ahead and reopen that. Once you have the CFG file reopened, renavigate to the NetPlace section. You're going to want to change your host to be equals zero. And then you will just go over to add their name in Radmin. You're going to right click their name. Copy IP address, we'll go here, we're gonna paste that. Delay is still set to two, close it, you're gonna save. And then once they've booted, you will boot in. All right, and so Chun is booted. Again, you'll see I, I had fully closed my game before coming in so we don't desync. And again, voila. And that's it, everybody. Again, if you guys are having any problems or anything, feel free to hit me up. Some quick shout outs, you know, the Marvel 2 community, uh, rest in peace, Blue Jay. Uh, it's a goddamn tragedy what happened to that man. Thank you for everything you did from Marvel 2, for, uh, to, for all of us, for people still playing this game and hungry and grinding. Blue Jay's house was, was the place to go on the East Coast. Shout out to the Marvel 2 Facebook group. Shout out to Sonic Step for going ahead and giving us a new build of this to play. If you guys see, it, it literally feels, you can watch uh, recent highlights that are going to be going up on my YouTube. It feels like people are sitting next to me playing at home. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this concludes the tutorial. Uh, subscribe to your boy. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money.